hey loves welcome back to the channel today my name is Usetale. so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made my beautiful kimono jacket like seriously i'm so obsessed with the jacket if you're interested in seeing how i made this keep on watching and let's go straight to the tutorial welcome back guys for this tutorial i'm going to be making use of these two years of ankara fabric okay so i'm just going to go ahead now and open up the fabric on the table just go ahead and open up your fabric like this after you're done opening it guys you're going to determine the front and the back so you're going to fold it bring these two ends together like this and fold it together just the way you see me doing it then just bring it together till you get to the end just like this okay just align it where and make sure it is the same thing so just bring it together like this then after you're done doing this guys now the next thing you want to do is to bring that end and this end together guys just take a look at what i'm doing you will understand how i am folding it you see what i did i folded it together then i bring the two ends together so you're going to have it looking like this okay now after you're done folding i went ahead to iron this out as you can see so this is what i have this end here you can see there is no opening there is no opening at all so this is how it's going to look like so i'm going to be using this upper side here as my shoulder this part here i'm going to be using it as my shoulder you can see there is no opening at the shoulder area now i'm going to go ahead and measure down 11 inches from this shoulder so just go ahead and measure down 11 inches i'm actually using my bust point measurement plus one inch for this so you mark it and you go ahead and roll it out just roll a straight line there so guys that's it that's what you're going to have after you're done doing that you're going to go ahead and take your bust measurement divided by four on that line so my bust measurement divided by four you take it here you know it's a kimono jacket i'm going to be adding extra five inches extra five inches to my bust measurement divided by four you can choose to add three inches you can choose to add six inches whichever one totally depends on your choice now you're going to come to this end here you're going to measure 10 inches that's for the sleeve width i'm making use of 10 inches you can choose to make use of eight inches nine inches depending on how tight you want it to be at that sleeve area you can also choose to make use of 11 inches okay so this is it guys that's what you're going to have now measure what i have on this line i will take it here and also take it at the hemline just like that so just measure the same thing then go ahead and connect it with a straight ruler so guys this is what you're going to have after you're done doing this just blend this part like this just blend it just like that then you go ahead and cut this out so guys after cutting this is how you're going to have it okay it's going to look like this i'm just going to go ahead and blend this um, hem part just cut it out to be even okay so this is it after you're done doing this guys the next thing is you want to cut the neck i'm going to be making use of neck width of three and a half inches you can go ahead and use three inches or four inches depending on how small or big you are for my case i'll be using three and a half inches so just mark it then i came down by one inch and i made a curve there so you're going to go ahead and cut this out just like this then after you are done cutting out you're going to make a notch here then you open up this fabric go ahead and open up this fabric just like this because we are going to go ahead now to cut the front neckline so now that we've opened up the fabric on the table i'm going to bring my straight ruler i'll just place it making sure it aligns with that notch i have then i'm just going to go ahead and roll out a v neckline and blend it just like this so this is what you're going to do 
Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Then after cutting, you open this part, open up this part and just blend it out. Cut out any sharp edge. So guys, this is how you're going to have it looking, okay? Now I'm going to open this up on the table for you to see how it is looking. So guys, this is it. This is how it's going to look like. This is the front and the back piece together because we are not going to be joining the shoulder because of the way we cut it out. We don't need to join the shoulder. Everything is in one whole piece. So guys, this is it. This is how it's going to look like, okay, as you can see. So now I'm going to bring this fabric I have folded together and iron out. It's very long. It's long enough to go through this neck area all the way to the down part. So it is 2 inches wide. It is on fold, so I folded it together before ironing it. And it is 2 inches wide, okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the end of this fabric. Just open up the fabric like this. Make sure that you determine the front and the back. I mean the wrong and the right face you're going to be placing this fabric on the right face on the right face then you go ahead and sew it on it just sew it on it round the neck area just like this the way you see me aligning this guys you're just going to place it together like this on the neck area all the way to the down part then you're going to go ahead and sew it on it just like that okay so guys, this is what I'm going to go ahead to do right now. So this is what I had after I was done sewing it on that part, as you can see. So this is how it's looking, okay? Now the next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and fold this sleeve area. So just take this sleeve area to the same machine, fold it together like this, and you're going to run a stitch on it just like that. Then you go ahead and do the same thing to the other sleeve. Just fold it together and run a stitch on it as well. So guys, this is what I had after I was done running stitch on the two sleeves, as you can see. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this fabric together. So just place it together at the sides here, just like this. And you're going to, you know, place this sleeve side together. Take this to the sewing machine now and you're just going to go ahead and join it together. Join it together like that. Then you will also bring this other side, join it together and go and sew it in the sewing machine. Then after you're done sewing these two sides, guys, you're going to go ahead and hem the down part of this kimono, and that will basically be all for the tutorial. So this is what I had after I was done joining the two sides and ironing it out, okay? So this is how it came out. I also went ahead to hem the down part so guys this is it this is how simple it is to actually make a kimono jacket even if you're new into this whole fashion thing you can actually be able to sew a kimono jacket for yourself that is if you follow this tutorial step by step so guys that is it in my next video i'm going to be using this remaining fabric to share with you guys how to sew a short okay if you don't want to miss that video please endeavor to hit on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that when that video drops you will be notified so guys thank you so much for watching